Let's determine which bond here out of these four different bonds is going to be most polar and how we can tell. How can we figure out which is the more polar bond? We'll start with the carbon and hydrogen bonded. This happens a lot in organic chemistry. We find carbon right here and hydrogen right here. So these are electronegativity values. We're looking at the difference in electronegativity to figure out if the bond is polar or nonpolar. So carbon 2.55 minus 2.20 for the hydrogen we get. So in this case, we would have a dipole, but usually when we're talking about a polar bond, we consider it to be above 0.5 or sometimes 0.4. So we could consider this to be a nonpolar bond, but there would be a little bit of a dipole. Let's take a look at OH, oxygen and hydrogen. We find oxygen, that's 3.44 and we're gonna subtract that 2.20 for hydrogen, and we get a difference in electronegativity of 1.24. So this is gonna be polar. When this number is greater than 1.7 or two, we often consider that to be ionic. So this would be a polar covalent bond. For N and H, here's what we get. So again, this is going to be a polar bond. It's greater than 0.5. And finally, carbon bonded to a carbon. That looks like this. Since they're the same, they have the same electronegativity, there's no difference. So this is the least polar out of all of these bonds because it's zero. And the most polar would be the OH, the oxygen and the hydrogen bond. This is Dr. B taking a look at which bond of the following is the most polar and how you figure that out. Thanks for watching.